Greetings from New Jerusalem Triple Seven. I'm back again uh, with my second video on this, and uh, hopefully this is the last one because it, you know. Um, but my idea is, you know, um, the importance is, is we need to preach the gospel. Like you know, John three fourteen talks about how God's um, eternal love is is for the whole world, and that includes even Muslims. I mean, it doesn't matter what your background is or where you came out of. We all came out of sin. I mean. We all, we all are sinners, okay? That's what Romans prove. Romans chapter, all of Romans, the whole book of Romans, especially the first half of Romans, proving our sinful state. But yet the, the gift of God is free and it's eternal life and it doesn't have any works involved in it. And all you people that go around, um, you know, doing works and stuff, well, you need to read Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 and 23. I mean, because I'm going to tell you something. These people that Jesus is condemning to hell, these are people that are going to call themselves workers. They are religious people. And my greatest concern is, um, is that most of the Christian world is religious. Okay, they're, I mean, I hate to say it, but the majority of Christianity is um, based on religion. It's not really based on faith because... The reason why I know, because I came out of that myself. I came out of the denomination. Um, I was a Pentecostal um, believer or so-called Pentecostal Christian. But I came out of, the reason why I came out of Pentecostalism, for instance, is because Pentecostal, Pentecostals don't believe in grace. They believe that you have to continue working for salvation and you have to continue living a holy life. So they add to the grace of God, which Paul spoke against, okay? And it's not the gospel, it's another gospel that Paul had, you know, warned the Christians, you know, during his time about, you know, that don't fall back under the law because basically they will put you back under the law system. Well, anyway, it's going to be so sad because, you know, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 and 23, I mean, I, I'm saddened by that. I really am. So, I mean, if you if you call yourself a Christian or if you're in this religious type of stuff, you know, you need to come out of it. You need to come to the true faith of Christ. I mean, because it's not all about religion. It's not all about asceticism, living a clean life. I mean, yeah, of course, you know, um, Christians ought to live a godly life. But we strive um, to grow in our faith every day. So it's just, it's a growth process. Um... And you start off as a baby and you grow as you go along. So that's what it is. Um, Romans chapter 5, verse 12 and 21. But once again, um, the wages of sin is death, okay? Um, we only deserve to go to hell. We don't deserve to go to heaven. So you can't earn heaven. Heaven is not a, a, a wage. Heaven is a gift. It's a gift of God. Eternal life is a gift of God. So it doesn't require works. Paul spoke of that, and also Romans chapter 6, verse 10 to 23, I read that, you know, earlier too, I mean, it talks about pretty much the same thing, I mean, I, I wonder, I, I wonder, like, when I read Paul's um, doctrine, or when I read his sermons and stuff that he had preached to the early Christians, I, I wonder why he mentioned about the grace of God and, and put so much grace, great emphasis on the free gift, you know, and, you know, saying that, look, you can't add works to it. Works, you can you know, because you're falling back under the law. I mean, well, I, he must have done it for a great reason because a lot of people just don't believe and you got all these people that go around talking about, oh, well, I don't believe in easy believism. It's hard believism, I guess, you know, it's it can't just be simple grace where you just believe and have faith in Jesus Christ. It has to be more than that. Well, the truth is, it is easy believism on our part, but Jesus did the hard part on the cross. So truth, truth is, is I do, I do um, advocate easy believism. Okay, and that is my bold statement. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. Um, that, that that's the way I believe but you guys are making it hard I mean yeah there is a such thing as hard believism too and that's for those who have a hard time believing in the simple grace that's just a hard time but you know you have to read Paul's letters today because it applies directly to us so you have to understand that okay the rest of the Bible is for our learning and if we try to apply the, the Old Testament and all the other periods to our lives 
as as a condition for our salvation, then we're contradicting ourselves. Okay, that's why, according to Second Timothy chapter two, um, it tells us how we should study the Bible so we can show ourselves approved unto the Lord. Okay, and it tells us the, how to divide the word of truth, how to rightly divide the word of truth. Okay, so that way that we can understand um, what um, each each of the Bible applies to directly, okay? Like, whenever it talks about Israel or the circumcision or, you know, the lost sheep of, you know, the lost sheep, that's talking directly to Israel. But whenever it talks about, like, the world, okay, normally that will be referred to Gentiles like us, you know, non-Israelites, okay? So you have to learn how to rightly divide the word of truth. And not only that, you have to look at the time periods too because the Bible is a progressive book and it's also a historical book too. So and it's also a prophetic book. So it's a it's a it's a historical book, it's a progressive book and it's also a prophetic book as well. So you have to understand the past. The past doesn't directly apply to us. The present is we in the um, grace period right now. And God is not pouring out judgment per se like he did in the Old Testament. Okay. Right now, this is a right now his grace is available, but in the future, you know, that's gonna all change, you know, after the rapture. So that's all I have to say. And once again, you know, I I employ you a preacher out there, you know, don't don't please don't do it, okay? This it's it's not serving a purpose. Um I employ you just preach the gospel of God's grace through Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.